Yo, good morning, everybody. Keith and I woke up this morning, I don't know, about 6.37, and we looked at the weather, and it was flat, calm seas. We jumped out of bed, now we're rushing to get ready to go BTB for the first time this year. I'm excited. You ready, Salt Girl? Yeah. Almost. All right. Ty's rods, Teresa's rods. Let's fish. And we're off. Mm -hmm. You got all your stuff? Yeah. I got my stuff. All right. Let's head. a different game. You're going to have tons and tons and tons of stuff. No. I really wish I'd have checked the seas last night because <clears throat> uh, it takes a little preparation to go BTV. But we got what we got. Let's see what's out there. Get off of that thing. Always on the phone. Working. I'm working. <laughs> what do you do? You are all that is springtime. Love you to pieces. <laughs> all right, people. This is Langdon Beach. And uh, it's the last turn in right before the Fort Pickens Park. We so. should park down there because this is the main entrance to the park. The park. Really happy with me right now. The are doing loop to loops. A little bit's happening to take breaks. This is a really uh, physically demanding thing, so thinking about coming and doing this with us, you might want to work out a little bit, eat right, because it ain't no joke, right, Teresa? Yeah, and I'm out of shape. I got my winter gloves still on, <laughs> so it's good training. You know, we ain't 20 anymore, so. The older you get, the more you got to prepare, the more you got to work out and eat right. Because this is definitely an athletic sport. I don't mind it though, it keeps us in shape. It does, it keeps us in shape. I'm in my late 40s, Teresa's in her mid 40s. This is our gymnasium, but boy, it is beautiful. And if you're coming to the 30 miles out camp out, this is across the street from where you're going to be camping. Get some pompano. Birds working up over here. Let me get out here and catch some bait. Teresa's saying it's loaded with Spanish right here. 10, 15 feet of water. You see him? Oh, yeah. Look at him racing around. Oh, there's some bruisers in there too, honey. Wow. Look at the Spanish people. Holy smokes. Spanish everywhere. All under the boat. 10, 12 feet of water. Jeez. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, wow, they're all over. There's Spanish everywhere, people. You got to put your... Oh, wow. Yeah, hell yeah. Those heavy little lead things. He's off. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try a spec rig out here for Spanish and 
uh, Benita and stuff. I've been hearing about this. Gonna give it a shot. Oh, H and H from Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Red stick. Do the trick. I was reeling it really fast. Spanish like it fast, man. I was just reeling this jig in super fast, and they smashed it. screaming bonita which is what I came for today I want some sushi oh they're blowing up out there man almost every cast people almost every cast presentation they like it fast I mean I was reeling it in to get just to get it in as fast as I could on the surface and they were smacking at it I was like what look at all of them coming holy smokes this is this day of the Spanish I don't know his name, but the fellow that sent us these epoxy jigs, thank you very much. Awesome. that time <laughs> yeah buddy oh I came off they keep coming off oh look they follow me to the boat it's hardtails hardtails and Spanish and you get a lot more hits with fluorocarbon leader I got a 40 pound floral but you get cut off a lot more you better have plenty of something Ooh. got another Oh, 
Ooh. He's mad. Ooh, yeah. Boy's mad. And another one in the boat. Eighteen inches. They're getting bigger. I'm looking for the big, big dog. The big dog of the bunch. Yeah. He hit a hammer way out there. What this pin battle two combo rod and reel as it comes perfect for casting BTB. Too heavy for inshore to throw all day, but out here throwing bigger baits with bigger fish, either you know 15 to 20 pound braid. I could troll this for kings, it's got enough backbone, and it's not quite too heavy to throw a good bit. It'll wear you down after a while, but you need a little backbone out here. Especially if something like Jack or a King hits this. They all come see. I swear there's Kings mixed in. I swear. Just huge. Bigger one. Much bigger. Cobia boats just right off the beach here. Well, I'm dragging my $20 holla because I have hooked a big Cobia on that before. See this? They're just smacking it. I'm bringing it on the surface and they're following it. Smacking, smacking. Oh man, he just pulled my rod hole. I almost lost that rod. I went and grabbed it. I was trolling that epoxy jig. This one's bigger. Oh, I foul hooked him. Yep. Foul hooked his arse. <laughs> Pin battle two. Combo. Spider wire. 20 pound. Blue stealth. 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Still getting cut off. Pocket jig throws a country mile. Here we go. Sea turtle, too. See that sea turtle? That was a long range smack. Oh, yeah, that's true, huh? This thing Spanish is pulling me. I'm going for a sleigh ride on the Spanish mackerel. He's taking me for a sleigh ride.
lovely wife. This is one of the bigger ones we've caught today. Ah, I just snagged something up in the surf zone. Hopefully it's a hardtail or something. Kobe a season. Kobe boats everywhere. Like that guy. Looking for Kobe. Coming right through our business. Yeah, you couldn't get any closer, huh? Thanks for giving us room, man. Appreciate it. Well, that light north wind that made it slick has turned around to a south wind. You can see we got a little bit of a chop. For some reason, Spanish have disappeared. So I think we're gonna call it a day. Hope y'all had a good time hanging out with Teresa and I. Hey, check out our Amazon store below and on every episode we post the gear that we use that day. Um, we list it out. And uh, we appreciate the support. It really helps us get to the next one kayak fishing destination. Thanks a lot to our Patreon folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time right here on 30 Miles Out.